Hundreds of anti-lockdown protesters are gathering in Wellington, angry at ongoing restrictions. This morning's march comes after multiple protests from similar crowds across the country in recent weeks. News Hub reporter Mitchell Alexander joins us now live from Wellington. And Mitch, what is happening down there? Well, Mitch, protesters are marching towards Parliament. They call themselves the Freedom and Rights Coalition and are currently on their way here. Now, they've begun their march at the Civic Square, which is in Wellington's CBD, and are currently making their way through some of Wellington's main streets to be here at the Beehive. Now, they want New Zealand to return to pre-COVID normality. They want us to learn to live with the virus, and they want to end restrictions. And they claim that they could take further action this week if they don't feel like that their voices are being heard. And they're coming here to Parliament today. They're here at Parliament. I'm sure you can hear them because they want politicians to hear that message. They want politicians to hear what they have to say. Mitch, we talked about other protests across the country this week. Have security measures been increased in Wellington today? Certainly security measures have been beefed up. There is a heavy police and security presence here. A number of gates in and out of the precinct have been locked. A number of barriers have also been set up. And police have said that they could take enforcement action against anyone who does breach the current alert level restrictions. Mitchell Alexander live from Parliament this morning. Mitch, thank you for the update. There have also been protests at the northern Auckland boundary near Tehana. Police were forced to close the border after dozens of protesters blocked the road. News Hub reporter Shannon Redstall is live there now for us. And Shannon, has that border been reopened? Well, good morning, Mitch. Yes, the border has reopened after what one police officer described to News Hub as a pretty hectic morning. There were around 50 protesters that descended on this checkpoint here at Tehana. It's the border of Te Tau Tokiro and Tamaki Makoto, Auckland. Uh, and these people, they use their bodies and they use their cars to block the checkpoint for about an hour. But overall, there was about three hours worth of disruption here as goods could not flow both north and south. Now, police did need to physically intervene with these protesters to get them off the road and to tow their vehicles. And one police officer was actually bitten by an unidentified protester. No charges have been laid so far, but no doubt police will be investigating that. And now Te Runanga or Ngāti Whātua, the local iwi here, they've also issued fighting words. They've said that this protest is thoughtless uh, and that these people who are coming here in the name of protection should really consider the impact that they're having on the people that they are allegedly trying to protect. Shannon, thank you for the updates.